In this series, we're going to be creating this program. This program generates a combination of layers to create these crystal shapes. And we can use these as SVG objects. Uh, we can export them with this little button down here. And in, in that way, we've kind of created a tool for us to uh, make a bunch of combinations of designs uh, that we may not otherwise have thought of or that would take a lot, a lot of time. Oh, please. Uh, otherwise for us to do manually. And um, I want to spend the rest of this video just covering what we're going to be doing so that you know what to expect. But first, we already did that. I do want to give credit where it's due. The shapes that we just looked at are directly taken from a design of the Rhode Island School of Designs 2017 commencement program. That was done by Ruth Lynn. Um, the design that she made lends itself perfectly to this kind of programming. And uh, I, she gave us permission to use her designs to make this series. So thank you to Ruth. What are we going to cover? Uh, we'll spend one video talking about generative design systems in general, and then we're going to hop right into making stuff. Now, this series is designed for people of all skill levels. So if you're a beginner just getting started with P5JS, that's OK. Uh, let's hop in with just uh, some more intermediate uh, drawing techniques like push, pop, translate, and rotate. And then we're going to move to more intermediate topic. So if you already are comfortable with push, pop, translate, and rotate, just look for intermediate in the title of the videos, um, and that's where you want to hop in with us. So we'll be doing object-oriented programming there where we create classes and, um, and show you how a class can inherit from other classes. And once we're done with that, we're going to an advanced level topic which is uh, composition versus inheritance. And basically, this is a different technique for creating objects in JavaScript. And we're covering it because there's a big influence from functional programming in JavaScript that allows us to do things in a different way. Um, in JavaScript, we do not have to use classes to create objects like you might in other programming languages. So with that restraint removed, how else might we create our program? It's not necessarily better or worse. It's just a different way of thinking. So if that's new to you, that might be a good place for, um, for you to start. With that, let's get started with our first video. What are generative systems? <laughs> 